Our hills were empty in the early 1800s. By the 1820s, our ancestor settlers had arrived, first at a trickle and then at a heavy flow. By the mid-1800s, the hills were full. The arrival was turbulent, the violence and traditions challenged. These works of nonfiction tell the stories of this period and the early settlers. So, Mr. Cameron, and these stories, are they true? <laughs> That's a really good question, because I spent lots of time making sure I make the distinction between fact, rumors, and opinions. And then I try to overlay a lot of the oral tradition that I've been picking up from years from the old folk. In fact, I also feel like I've lived in the archives a good part of the time, because the information is based on various reports, corner reports, original court documents, old newspaper accounts, census records, and old maps. Yeah, they're true. They're all fact-based. And to me, though, they're more than just true. They're real treasures. They're direct links to the ancestor. So for me, I have to feel like I have to save them, share them. So whether that's via a conference or the books, they're that important. The first book, Hill Search, the Robert Corrigan story. It tells the story of the ribbon men in the hills, an armed orangeman on the road, body snatching, a secret burial, a lost cemetery, intimidation, faction fights, all this and more. Read about the true story of Robert Corrigan's 1855 murder and what happened next. The second book, Hill Tales Still Searching, talks about a series of items, the opening up of the territory itself, an ugly interface with the Abenaki in 1818, a surprising murder in 1833 that led to a public hanging and transportation to Van Diemen's Land, an 1870 assassination of a bailiff, and a murder by Scythe in 1886. It includes other stories as well, including in 1837, Anglo Patriot. And the third book, Hill Notes Glimpses of Before. It includes stories that have been forgotten the 1818 flood, cholera in our area, old roads, the manor, and the canal. A few more murders, including the terrible stories having to do with the Sheridan family, Meganic mob outlaw, and the presence of ribbon men in Meganic, and the Irish couple who lived in a cave. No, not fiction. The facts will surprise you. I'm sure you'll enjoy the read.